Hello and welcome to One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Armory B, and it is Monday, and it's time for Blast Off Monday. And this week we're opening up a 2021 Tops Gallery Blaster Box. If you missed any of the previous Blast Off Monday videos, head up there should be a little link for the playlist, or just head over to the channel page and uh, search for whatever you're looking for, or just watch it all. That's that's probably the best thing you should do. And then hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, hit thumbs up like this video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Uh, head on down to the comments and tell me if you've ever pulled anything really cool out of gallery, specifically 2021, or just in general, I guess. And then uh, check out the links in the description for all my other internet-related stuff. All right, so yeah, um, I still have way too much 2021 stuff, but we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. We're going to open it up. Uh, see what we can find. We're looking for rookie autograph cards and all-new limited parallels. Ooh, cool stuff there. Well, I, don't know that, I don't even know what that means. Uh, but there's all the stuff we can find uh, back when they still had the odds on the boxes and the packs. Um, got Jake, Jacob DeGrom here on the cover, boy. Well, let's see what we can find. I was looking for the four exclusive printer proof parallels per box now. I believe this 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 was the first year they decided they weren't going to be in their own separate pack they were just included in the pack so like it says there's four cards per pack one two three four five six seven seven packs but then i think those are additional maybe i could be wrong i don't remember we'll find them and figure it out so there's all the odds again i think they're just the same as what was listed on the box so nothing different there but we got greg maddox master of the craft that is freddie freeman so starting off a couple braves kirby puckett and miguel cabrera so i mean obviously hall of famer hall of famer probably i wouldn't see why he wouldn't be a hall of famer freddie freeman still got a little work to do in my mind but certainly potentially Hall of Famer. Got Freddie Freeman again, so. Okay, here's one of the printer-proof cards. Wait, was that what the one we were looking for? Oh yeah, printer-proof. So maybe I was wrong. Okay. There are, because there's only four cards in this pack, so maybe different products do it different ways, because I know like with Topps Chrome, I'll say there's four cards in pack, but then you get the sepia or the pink and then there's an extra card in some of the packs that have the CPM and the pink. I don't know, whatever. But apparently that's maybe not the case with the gallery. I don't know. But Michael Conforto, printer proof. We got Manny Ramirez and Manny Ramirez uh, foil and then regular. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but whatever. I feel like that happens way too often. I mean, there was that one box of Bowman Platinum, hanger box of Bowman Platinum I opened Oh, a few months ago? I don't know. Whatever. Search for it on the channel page. Where I got a Gunnar Henderson. I think it was like Icy Gunnar Henderson. Then there was like a numbered Shohei. Then there was a numbered Gunnar Henderson Auto. Then a, just a regular Gunnar Henderson. So it was like three out of the four cards were Gunnar Henderson. One of them was an auto numbered card, which is fantastic. And then in between there was a Shohei Auto. Uh, not Auto. Shohei numbered card. This is Shohei Ano. That would be ridiculous. Uh, Mike Piazza. Um, there's Michael Conforto again. There's another printer proof of Raphael Devers and then Javier Baez. I don't think it's out there. So I guess I was wrong about the whole extra pack, extra card per pack. Oh, well, whatever. Maybe they added an extra pack. I don't know. Yeah, actually, maybe they just added an extra pack. That actually makes sense, too. Instead of having them... All in one pack, they just spread them out the other packs, but they added an extra regular pack. Dylan Carlson, rookie. We got Modern Artist, Shohei Otani, uh, Hank Aaron, and John Means. And they may have done that in 2020. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember. Fernando Tatis Jr., uh, another printer proof. Dylan Carlson. Oh, we got Nato. Trent Grisham, blue, is that numbered? Out of 50, nice, okay, okay. A Nick Madrigal rookie as well in there. Was not expecting that. Um, 
What are the what were the odds of that? As they say, it's just probably easier just to read it off the box. Um, autograph. Let's see. Let's see autograph. No, those are just the. There's the oh, autograph parallels blue one in three hundred and eighty eight. So, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pretty cool. All right. Got uh, Key Brian Hayes, rookie. It's one of the better rookies to get. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. to go along with our all our Braves up here. Uh, Yadier Molina. There's another surefire Hall of Famer. That's the Rainbow Foil or whatever those ones are called. And JT Ralmuto. All right, last pack. I mean, I'd say some last pack magic, miracle, malarkey, mishigash, <laughs> uh, shenanigans, chicanery, wizardry, uh whatever uh but we already got an auto so i don't i really hope don't think so i mean if we got two autos out of this box that'd be crazy isaiah isaiah paredes uh rookie i feel like there was a rookie pile no yeah whatever uh there's our other printer proof trevor uh Larnarch, rookie printer proof ozzy albies rainbow foil and then to go along with our other Braves, all our Braves. And Tarek Screwball, uh, rookie, round things out there. So, I mean, I mean, as far as 2021 gallery goes, I feel like we did pretty good. I mean, certainly getting an autograph and a numbered autograph, uh, you know, at that is pretty solid. I mean, got a show A, inserts, we've got some rainbow foils, some, you know, future, you know, stars and future Hall of Famers. Actually, is this one blue? It is. It is that. I was just. I was just looking at this. I'm like, wait a minute. That one looks different. See, that was like that blue. This one's blue. That is numbered out of seventy five. Sweet. So that just makes it even better. Um, we got our printer proofs. Obviously, we were expected to get that. But some good names. A lot of Braves. A bunch of Braves. Um, Cunha, Maddox, a couple Freemans, Ozzy Albies. I feel like I'm forgetting another Brave that was in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that, I mean. Oh, well, Hank Aaron in his Braves uniform for some reason. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Atlanta Braves, I should say, for some reason. Um, obviously, Milwaukee was uh, was uh, more his... Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess... Now that I'm trying to think of it, like, I feel like he spent most, most of his time um, in Milwaukee, but... I have to look it up. But yeah, it was just the, the, the Atlanta Braves part of it that threw me off. Um, is what I meant to say. Obviously, <laughs> obviously being, I mean, it'd be weird. If, I guess it'd be, it'd be weird if he was in his Brewers uniform. Did he play a year for the Brewers? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to have to look up Hank Aaron's stats. Um, because I don't remember what year they moved to Atlanta. Maybe he was there longer than I think he is. He was. I know he went back to Milwaukee in the Braves. Ah, right, he was there for longer than I guess I thought. I feel like I just, every picture I see of him is usually with Milwaukee Braves. Um, but yeah, he ended up with two years for the Brewers at the end there. But yeah, he was in Atlanta for a good amount of time. I guess one. Let's say one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth season, it's all right. So he played up. I mean, he played forever. I guess that's the issue. But with Atlanta, anyways, which all these guys obviously are as well. I mean, so a lot of Braves. I don't know. Now I'm babbling. But cool autograph, Trent Grisham, who is not an Atlanta Brave. But where is he? Where is he now? Is he? I feel like he was part of that Soto deal. Is he still with the Nationals? I honestly don't know. He was kind of one of the bigger rookies out of 2020 but um let's see is he still with the Padres okay so he wasn't part of that deal who am I thinking of then I was part of that deal oh no he was with the Brewers okay and then went to the Padres he's still with the Padres he wasn't a part of that deal why did I think he was a part of that deal who am I thinking of then that was part of that deal that's gonna drive me nuts now
sorry i'm this, this i'm just i mean off the rails in this video so if you probably already tuned out um but thank you anyway for watching um all right why is why can't this bring up the trade all right, no i was talking about him getting traded from from san diego no i want the trade to san diego all right let's find out I'm definitely, I can't remember who I'm thinking of then. That was like, it's, it's, it's going to drive me nuts. And that's like, and then as soon as I see it, I'm be like, oh yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Not Trent Grisham. Um, CJ Abrams is who I was thinking of, I believe. Yeah. I was thinking C.J. Abrams, not Trent Grisham. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Got my got my Padres mixed up. I was thinking C.J. Abrams, who got traded to the Nationals, not Trent Grisham. He's still with the Padres. All right. Sorry. I've babbled on way too much talking about Hank Aaron and him, how many years he was with the Braves in Atlanta, not full-time, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, got a nice autograph and some number cards and a lot of Braves. Atlanta or otherwise, well, mostly Atlanta. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Uh, come back next week for another Blast Off Monday. Come back later on for day, for Mail Time Monday. I come back every day. I got videos posted every day. Just hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification. You get all the notification every time videos up and ready to watch. Come over, watch, like, and share, comment, and all that fun stuff. Keep wearing this one. Just having fun in the channel. Getting nice autographs, nice numbered cards, all that cool stuff. And uh, thank you. And getting confused as to when guys got moved or traded or who got traded or what team they were playing for, what city, and my mind's broken. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun, talk to you next time. Bye.